Tim Siglin again here, uh, contributing editor for Streaming Media Magazine, streamingmedia.com, and I've got with me today Stefan Letterer from Bitmovin. Stefan, you guys in the last two years have really attracted a lot of attention. Two years ago, if I talked to big companies, whether it's enterprise or competitors, and said, what do you think about Bitmovin? They'd say, who's Bitmovin? Now, they know who you are. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that Bitmovin's gained a lot of traction in the last two years? That's a good question. I think it's a combination of um, being uh, at the front with new um, technologies like um, HTML5 based playback, like um, the OM protection in HTML5, okay. enabling different streaming formats to play um, easy and um, without a lot of configuration in one ecosystem. So that's definitely one of the things. And another um, good thing we do is we try to be um, as open as possible. So people can go to the website, can try out the products by their own. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of documentation online, we have tutorials online, we have source code examples online. And people can get access to that before they buy the product or license yes. the product? Yes, okay. before they even talk to us. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of people prefer to give it a look and look um, really into the products behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. And um, then they say, okay, that's interesting for me, let's talk about the details and um, there we can provide um, the necessary support and guidance to really help the, 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 the customers um, to, to get the problem solved. So you've got sort of a self-service model. How much of your business is the small mom and pop shops who want to stand up an HTML5 player versus, say, the enterprise organizations? We are completely focused on enterprise. Um, they appreciate that we have this deep um, expertise combined with the support level we can provide. So roughly 95% even more is coming from enterprises. Um, across the board um, in the media space, in the platform business, um, integrators in the US, in the Latin American countries, in um, Europe, um, Middle East is now upcoming for us. So uh, we're really nicely spread here as well. Yeah. And for those integrators, do they have different support tiers than what your typical enterprise customer would get? Or how does that, how does that work between the support for integration versus um, Exactly. So we have um, worldwide 24-7 support okay. with our um, office locations that works out really nicely. Okay. And that's exactly what the enterprise businesses need um, from an infrastructure layer provider. We see our players' infrastructure as well as our cloud encoding. And um, the integrators typically go for the first level support and we provide the sure. technical deep dive here. But also the content providers, video is getting a critical part of their revenue flows. So what we provide is also the necessary support layer for them to make sure everything is running. Similar to cable to broadcast, the online channel has to work 24-7. And we are a small company, but we can achieve the support level that's necessary for them. So given the fact that you cover the player and DRM, do you expect Bitmovin itself will partner with other companies to sort of build the holistic ecosystem? Or will you move up market and begin to move further up the supply chain and offer platform based? We will always stay on the um, infrastructure layer. Okay. So that means our player and our encoding are inter infrastructure and we have API interfaces for that. Okay. We are now releasing a couple of um, products around that. So um, adding functionality to the player for um, error monitoring, for QS uh, okay. and so on. And um, here we spin out different products, again a separate product line. Okay. For us, it's always important to don't be an integrated platform that you have to buy everything from us. That's not our intention. Okay. We make it to be as easy as possible. If customers want to go with our player, then it's fine. And if customers want to go with our encoding, it's fine as well. And on top of that, we partner with providers for DRM, for um, CDN, storage, um, analytics, um, a lot of other things. And, um, that's necessary because when customers come to us, they have a problem and we need to solve that. We can solve some parts from our products, but we need to bring in partners that are spe uh, specialized in those areas. And that's great to work. So we have really a great set of partners out there, especially in the DRM field, um, which it makes really fun to work with them. Yeah. So you've talked about some of the things like DRM, discrete products that you have, that you're putting out. Between now and the next streaming media in May, say in the next six to seven months, what are the trends that you see Bitmovin 
focusing on specifically during that time? The OM is one of our main topics um, at the moment in HTML5, enabling easy workflows here and uh, also enabling the transition from Silverlight and Flash to HTML5. Ah, very good. Yeah, but at the same time, we see also a lot of VR content um, coming up now. The cameras are there, the workflows are there, the devices are there, and content providers want to do DOM um, VR content. And this is something we currently see a lot. So it is part of buying decisions as well. If you now deploy a system, you want to make sure that it's ready for the challenges of the next years. Okay. And for 60 degree, in contrast maybe to 3D and other trends, 360 degree is something which is more and broader and that's something that's here to stay and we see it in the news field, in the sports field, uh, in a lot of other use cases and um, we now get into a lot of interesting customer opportunities and new brand names with 360 degree as an entry point. Interesting. Again, this has been Stefan Lederer with Bitmovin here on Almost Live at Streaming Media West 2016.